My name is Mario, and I like to buy downtrends. Hi, Mario. I buy when the stock price is low and sell when the stock price is high. It worked in 2021, but now every time I buy it just keeps on falling over and over again. My portfolio is down 70% year to date when the spy is up 17%. But I can't help myself from keep buying them to bring my cost average down. How's it going everyone? Different Mario here. Holy shit, that was intense. So, you like buying downtrends, huh? Why are you gay? Haha. Ha. Oh, it's a great company. It has a nice footer. Let me recommend a nice video for everyone who thinks this way. I just made a video called how to lose 100% of your portfolio. You should watch that. You might take a thing or two from that video. If you're gonna lose your money, might as well do it the right way. Let me ask a series of questions. Will you deposit money in the bank which constantly takes 300 to 400 dollars from your account every single week? No. Will you stand in front of a 20 foot wave? No, you wouldn't. That's how buying these downtrends are. You and me at the end of the day are not moving the stock prices even a single cent. Some institutions have been offloading their positions on a daily basis which cause or creates the downtrend in the first place. Why do you want to go against them? But the goal of investing is buy low, sell high. Well, what would have happened if you bought the lows and charge point at $5? Womp womp. What would have happened if you bought the lows at Lucid LCID at around $18? Womp womp. What would have happened if you bought the lows on Tattooed Chef at around $20? Oh, you just lost a lot of money. No stocks in an uptrend has ever gone bankrupt. Think about it. Doesn't matter how good a company is. Doesn't matter how great the fundamentals are. If the stock price is in a downtrend, well, the institutions are clearly disagreeing with your thesis. Much rather miss out on a 2-3% to rally and then buy the strength from there, rather than being a smart ass trying to catch the bottom only to lose another 15-20% to to the downside as the price continues in the direction of the trend. This brings us to the question, what is an uptrend and what is a downtrend and how do you identify them? The textbook definition goes something like this, an uptrend has a series of higher highs and higher lows and a downtrend has a series of lower highs and lower lows. But when you look at the chart, especially as a beginner, it's very difficult to identify what a higher high is and what a higher low is or what a lower high is and a lower low is. I'm gonna make things simpler. Step 1. Indicators. Moving average simple. Change the length to 20. Do it again. Step 2. Moving average simple. Change the length to 50. Step 3. Moving average simple. Change the length to 200. What if I tell you using these three moving averages alone, you can identify the trend from the daily time frame. If a stock is in an uptrend, you will see the 20 day moving average, the 50 day moving average and the 200 day moving average all sloping to the upside. You will see the 20 above the 50, you will see the 50 above the 200 all pointing up north. This is how an uptrend stock actually looks like. Want an example? Stay in the daily time frame. Look at these stocks. Palantir. DraftKings, HLT, DUOL, VST. All these stocks have one thing in common. All of them are in an uptrend. So you can see the 20 day positively sloping, 50 day positively sloping, 200 day positively sloping, and you can automatically assume the stocks are having a series of higher highs and higher lows. Now let's check out some downtrending stocks to see how those moving averages look. Check out Cisco, CSCO. Check out Paycom, P-A-Y-C. Check out Chargepoint, C-H-P-T. Check out AMC. All these stocks have something in common. They all have declining 20 day moving average, declining 50 day moving average, declining 200 day moving average. All of these stocks are in a downtrend. When you look at these types of stocks which has been sold off, always look at S&P 500. How much the S&P 500 is up? If the S&P 500 is up like 17% year to date and this stock is down somewhere around 17 or 20 or 25% year to date, you are stuck holding the wrong stocks which is not performing good with the markets. Pretty simple. 
institutions are disagreeing and they're offloading the stock for a reason. If it's a great stock, it would have rallied alongside with the S&P 500. Something's going on. Would you rather be involved in a stock which has been down like 20% when S&P 500 is up 17% or do you want to be involved in stocks which are actually up the same amount or even further higher than the S&P 500? You should be involved in the companies which are showing relative strength so that your P&L will be having higher highs and higher lows. You know what else you can do if you want to have higher highs and higher lows on your P&L? Check out the Patreon. The link is down below in the description. With this simple trick alone, you get to read out a lot of shit looking stocks from your portfolio. So I hope this video was helpful. From here on, you can identify uptrends and downtrends. Do you see how simple this is? When it comes to trading, being simple is one of the most sophisticated things you can do. In the next video, we'll talk about multiple time frame analysis. If you want to learn more and if you want to join the Patreon or book one on one, check out the links down below in the description. As always, take our probability trades, manage the risk wisely, don't be like that other Mario, I'll see you guys in the next video.